hello friends this is my another tutorial moving forward uh, i am going to let you know some special features of block in previous uh, tutorial i showed you how to utilize the blocks how to how it's helpful for the calculations uh, sorry uh, counting and uh, also if you want to change anything in each blocks you how will you have to change it so now i am going to show you advanced features first uh, in last session i made this i didn't saved it just i am going to save it okay now i want to go to the locations this one is our new dra new drawing uh, one thing i want to uh, show you here the previous uh, drawing backup is <coughs> this is the original drawing what we had downloaded now after the save it's a 94 kb and previous it was 195 kb why it happened because i will show you how to reduce the file size because it, it is the simple thing it is the very simple drawing with one layout and with a couple of chairs and couple of tables only thing but if there is a big big uh, tables and uh, sorry big 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 layouts big uh, things multiple uh, services like mechanical electrical piping and uh, rest of the things it the book, drawings become heavy i saw the drawings of file size 50 mb 90 mb 100 mb like this so how can you reduce the file size because uh, file size is dependent on couple of things i will show you in further uh, tutorials how will you file, uh, reduce your file size so uh, one of the them uh, uh, one of them is the using the blocks you can see the previous it was size of uh, 195 kb now it is only 94 kb why it uh, i will explain you uh, further So that's why i told you for use, uh, using it professionally you should use the blocks it's uh, very helpful in several ways now uh, coming to our topic i am <coughs> going to show you some special features for example i have one elliptical table i am making one ellipse like this okay sorry i what i did a mistake that it's not straight if i will make an excel line shift sorry look one this and deleting it now making one ellipse so no problem i'm deleting rest over the lines what i want this is my elliptical elliptical table uh, like dining table and uh, meeting hall table anything else I want to copy its around this. No, you see one thing. I just sorry, just drag it. Uh, so what I did to copy here, you can see. If I have one block, I will show you here. If I have one block, just press this pick point and press wherever you want to take keep. For example, I want to. put three chairs on this end points just one just again select and one oh what happened the previous block got deleted or it got moved if you want to copy it what you have to do just select hold control and now put wherever you want it automatically integrated into the copy command control z but what you have to do just hold control put first one and then leave the control key now you can put wherever you want 10 times 100 times 200 times it's depending upon you so <coughs> this is the uh, feature of grip editing now what i want the feature of this uh, block is i want to make array so what will what will we do just uh, we will make one line here like this and now a line so uh, instead of a line i will mirror it i will show you why i am doing this y enter i am enter and going to mid point delete and enter perfect okay i will put it like here or you i am not using any dimensions if you want to use dimensions you can use 
for example this one is now 262 I want 250 so what will we do just select here put it here we enter 250 now this is I want to circulate it along this ellipse so what will we do here enter array select object enter type path select enter but what happens this is not according to our wish so what will we do we will change something few things uh, if we will change the align items and change it to no quite good but it's not perfect because look here this chair should head should be up not and this is making another elliptical size instead of our ellipse so what will we do control z we will do make one line and just divide it select two lines trim or better first copy it so enter for example i am copying it after the distance of 6000 okay and not trim it here enter select object enter this one okay now array this chair according to this path array enter select object enter path select path and this is okay but still we need to do something some works now you can look these chairs are headed toward uh, perpendicular but uh, this ch if this chair is uh, i want to you sit in the, this chair its head should be according to uh, its center not the perpendicular direction so what will you do align items yes then it will align according to the our path center okay now again uh, we need to equal distance now you can see here the vacant so we will change the method to divide instead of measure now what is this it's doing new now we are in measure you can see i'm again selecting measure and we will go to the items now you it's asking for the distance between each objects if i am giving 600 it will make some apart and how many items we want if i will putting five then it's reducing one but we want six items between same dis distances so what we will do change the method to divide and select the items we will put it six enter and enter this is our array now what will we do we will delete both these items no need just we will move this again six one two three enter and now just we will start mirroring but uh, one thing we will see yes enter now these two enter enter now what we have to see here these chairs are same in this block also this block also same case this block also this block also so whenever this conjunction point came there is our two blocks so we will get out of the array command x enter now we have the individual blocks so what will we do we will select one block and delete one block delete one block and delete one block and delete now if we will delete second blocks it's empty so we did it now we can see how many blocks we have you can see 20 blocks okay if you want uh, uh, more blocks or less blocks we have to do the first first time what we were doing we were making array and selecting path and selecting this because it's a closed loop that's why it's not get uh, our software is assuming one as a base point okay the base point should be the center of this ellipse but due to this is its closed path that's why the software is not uh, able to identify the correct places where it should be uh, aligned that's why this was happening that's why i took this place if uh, one minute i'm getting back control z if i'm making one circle like this and just i'm taking this one copy again like here skip and one i want to array okay now it's easy array now we have the option of polar array just select the center now our array is quite simple now if i want to change the uh, number of items i can change to 12 enter i want to change it to 24 
it's okay whatever you uh, want to change you can change if you want to uh, change the base point if you want to change the base point this is your base point then you have to change now what i want to change the fill angle now if you want it's only 180 degree there should be chair rest over the area should be empty so what will we do we will put 180 degree but thing is that in between 180 degree it is putting uh, 24 pieces that's why i am changing again item to 12 enter like this and here my, might be this is uh, the uh, your md md table and these are employees table might be it depends upon the uh, conditions what we are using so this is the uh, some basic example of array of the block uh, i uh, in next video i am going to uh, show you dynamic block what is dynamic block i will uh, i want to give you one overview if i am taking one block okay here are some some parameters and actions what we have to do so i will show you you can di directly set an action for the array uh, you can directly set an action for uh, uh, stretch uh, length and etc i will show you this all for example if i will i am going back okay i am going to tool palette of the windows i am going to architecture selecting one baker now look at this this is integrated models of the autocad okay if you are an architect and you are making one house project and you want to show the client that this is garage this is a section view this is might be you are making the plan where whatever we discussed this about the plan might be this is your uh, pathway for the car so you want to show the car here so what you have to do just select and the top elevation select here put it here rotate it like this and here you go this is your car look so it is very easy for you to show to your client that uh, it's your pathway or anything else but uh, this this case it is corridor just i am showing you as one example so what we have to do what is this block you can select another truck another truck like this i am again going to tool palette i am going to one aluminum door placing it select it we can resize it look here whatever size our door is i want to resize it here i can resize it again if i will go to the trees i can i can put whatever tree i want i can select here these are already in inbuilt in software if i am going to door you can again resize it if i am going to this door plan i can change its length here it's its direction here it's angle like this so what we have to do how can we make these types of blocks i will show you in next tutorial till uh, thanks for watching